Hello, my beautifully beloved big booty bougie brethren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, hey, man. Um, excuse me, broski. Um, I'm trying to make videos, broski. I'm trying to get like you, bro. <sighs> That's pretty cool, man. I need some advice, broski. You make videos? Yeah, man. You be making the music videos, right? Yeah, man. Them vlog videos? Yeah, man. Makeup videos? Yeah, man. Comedy videos? Yeah, man. Oh, but you, but you be doing them political videos too, right? Yeah, man. Whoa, the, the woke videos? Yeah, man. I'm trying to get like you though, bro. How can I get like you, bro? You just start, man. I, I bet, bro. So, so, so what do I need? To shoot. I bet, say word. You just need a DSLR. Bet, bro, I got that look. Well, maybe you have that, but you also need a great laptop to edit on. Bet, bro. I got that too, broski. Okay, so you have a DSLR and a laptop. You still need a good mic. Bet, broski. I got that. And an interface. Bro, we did That's hit. That's pretty cool, man. But you don't even have speakers to mix on. Did you just do Bro, bro. Fam. Chill. I'ma keep it a hundred with you. If you just wanna start making videos, you don't need any of that right now. That thing that you think you need, you don't need it. You don't. You don't need it. You don't even want it. What you want is an obstacle to stop you from your own success because you're scared of your own success. You projecting your own insecurities on your lack of equipment, on your lack of resources. You don't feel ready. So you trying to say that your equipment is not ready. Oh, I, I want to start doing this, but I don't have this. I, I need to get my money right. I need to get my equipment right. I need to get my house right so I could start doing this. I need to do this. I need, I need This needs to get right first before I start doing this. When really, you need to get right. You need to get your mind right. If you want to make videos and you keep having this mentality that you need something in order to start, you never gonna make videos. If you keep waiting till you have all this fancy equipment that you supposedly need, you shot yourself in the foot and quit before you even started. I've been making videos since I was 11. You can see how I started. You look at my name, Jeffrey Almonte. You know, humble brag, weird flex. I kind of have all this fancy stuff. Some studio panels, KRKs. I got an interface, my headphones. I got a working laptop. I still need to properly bass trap my walls and get more studio panels in order to get the proper bass response that I need to hear an accurate bass response in the room while I'm mixing my audio. I still need a shotgun mic, but for right now, I'm using this broken Zoom H1. This chip right here is broken. It don't even have the two microphones that it comes with. So I have to use the, the live mic right here. Right here, I have my backup audio on my phone, just in case. I'm using these two relatively cheap LEDs that are too harsh to put directly on my face, so I need these light diffusers that will distribute the light in a softer way. But for right now, I'ma just bounce the light off of the ceiling because my ceiling is already white. And actually, that just reminded me that I have to open my windows and use this nice white curtain right here uh to kind of diffuse the harsh sunlight that's coming in but the sunlight is not really that harsh today it's cloudy outside filmmakers like clouds because it, it provides a nice neutral um soft shadows it's not harsh light so i could just open up my windows get some nice diffused soft light you might be able to tell the difference i don't know i kind of feel like there's more light in the in the room then again my eyes have more dynamic range than the camera does so what I'm noticing, the camera's probably not even picking up. You will never, ever, ever have all the equipment that you want. You will never feel like you have enough resources because you're constantly gonna be upgrading. That's just how we are as humans. We always gonna want better. So you were talking about, I need this, I need to get that, I need to go, oh, Jeffrey Almonte, what do I buy? What do you use for your camera? What do you use for your lighting? What do you use for your audio? Just relax. You don't even have an audience yet. You wanna know how to make videos, where to start, Start at your attitude. Starts with self-discipline. 
Every want comes with a but. First of all, wants usually have buts, and every creative person is a boobs guy. That's just statistically proven. Look it up. No, but seriously, every want comes with an excuse, comes with an obstacle. But bro, I'm trying to make comedy skits like, I don't got no reliable friends so I could, so, so they can act in my, in my joints, you feel me? You don't got no actors. You live in a very rural area. You live in Ohio. You live in Mississippi River, Mississippi land. Where it's mad rural and there's nobody out there to really work with you. Play all the characters. I did that in Cordom. I'll take the ladder. Nah, nah, bro, you don't understand. Like, I'm trying to do the voiceover joints, like, like, like them funny joints, you feel me? Like the voiceover dubs, like the narration joints, you feel me? And, 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 and I got omnidirectional joints, and, and I'm trying to mess with the, the, the super cardioid Newman, Newman joints, you feel me? Like, I'm on that wave, you feel me? The Newman joints, that, that what they be having at the studios when they're making videos. People want to do podcasts or voiceover work and talk about, I want to do a podcast, but I don't have a good mic. Yes, you do have a good mic. It's 2018. If you're watching this, you probably have a smartphone or access to a public library to get internet. Probably even have headphones that have a decent mic attached to it like these. My boy told me he wants to be a voice actor. I told him you are a voice actor. You don't want to be a creator. You are a creator. While you saving up to get that piece of equipment that you think you need, you can build the audience now. Use what you have. Use your phone. Like, man, like I don't grew up around some people living their life in bottles. It's a me, bro. Is an extremely talented voice actor. Look at the shaggy impression he did on Instagram. I'm afraid we can't be together anymore, Shaggy Cut. Like, Zoics. Like, why, man? And that was the last time Raggy ever really loved. Very simple. Took a picture edited it, zoomed in on the faces of the characters that he was impersonating, called it a day. Now, of course, he may not have craziest studio with sound treatment and all that. He may not have a thousand dollar microphone, but you can hear his talent through what he's using. That's what's important. You can go to a quiet room or a closet full of clothes where it's nice and dry, where there's not a lot of reverberation and record. There's some rules that I'll get into in later videos. Don't go to a bathroom where there's a bunch of tinny, rangy noise. But bro, my bathtub got that natural reverb, broski. I got a new mic and everything, bro. My ad libs sound crazy in here, broski. Mama! That's the reverb, bro. I don't even gotta edit this shit, broski. This shit is like naturally auto tune, bro. Skr, skr. Don't record in the corner of a room where your voice will be so bassy that it'll drown out consonants in your words. Yo, bro, I could I could be a narrator in the corner, bro. I sound like Morgan Freeman, bro. Look. But bro, look, yo, you hear that, bro? Yo, you don't hear them subharmonics? <laughs> this how Jacob Collier get his voice to get deep like that, bro. Bro, this how they make 808s, bro, ski. Oh. A simple rule to having great audio for video. Listen, anything picking up audio that is close to you is way better than audio on your camera that is several feet away from you. Again, anything that is closer to you is better audio than the audio that's being recorded on the camera several feet away from you. Again, anything that is closer to you is better audio than the audio that's being recorded on the camera several feet away from you. Nah, matter of fact, broski, it's a rap. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, um, you feel me? Them beauty videos. I'm trying to do the beauty videos. I'm gonna be the first dude out the hood that laying down my edges, you feel me, broski? I'm trying to do that, you feel me? Like, I'm really about it. I'm really trying to do it, bro. But I just need, I just need the ring light and, 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 and that fire mirror that got all the lights around Come on, it. that's just vanity, like. Yeah, bro, that's exactly what I'm talking about. How much you think them vanity mirrors cost? Nah, that's, that's not what I meant. All right, look, anyway, the truth about making videos is that it does not matter what you think you need it's what the audience needs to accurately get your message. They need to see what you're trying to convey. They need to hear what you're trying to convey. And you need to tell that story in a concise deliverable that doesn't drag on forever. You need to tell that story in a concise deliverable that doesn't drag on forever. Audio, that's visuals, and that's editing. Something to see, something to hear, and a canvas to tell your story. Boom. So visuals. Exposure is everything. 
can we see you? Maybe that doesn't even matter. What kind of videos are you making? You making videos? Oh yeah, of course. You need to have great lighting, right? Maybe you don't have a ring light. Maybe you don't have a fancy vanity mirror, but you want nice, even lighting. These LED lights I have run for about $200 a pair. Before you go running out to go buy these LED lights, I did not have these LED lights until last year. I've been shooting videos since I was 11 years old. I am 22. I did not have a pair of LED lights and these are not professional grade by any means, by the way, until last year. So don't think that you can't make a video right now because you don't have my LED lights. Why not film your makeup video in front of a window where you have all that great natural sunlight? That's the best light you can possibly get. Why not shoot your comedy skit outside? If you're vlogging, make it personal. Show us your city, show us your town. Where are you? Use the scenery to your advantage to make your vlogs even more interesting. I'm usually shooting inside my room and the very rare occasion that I was outside, I showed my neighborhood and it was a video about New York that added to it. People loved it. The responses I was getting, the comments, everybody loved the fact that I went outside and showed my scene. They was like, yo, you should really show us like your neighborhood more. Like it adds to the authenticity of the video. It feels more raw. It feels more like you're in the scenario that you're talking about. You don't need a fancy muslin backdrop that rolls out. If you really must have a backdrop and that is your aesthetic, go buy some satin sheets at the dollar store. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't gotta go spend a hundred dollars on, on some professional backdrops. Hang some satin sheets on your curtain rods or just tape it down with some gaffing tape or regular tape. You don't even have to spend money on gaffing tape. Look at this moody lighting I used at the end of my chopped cheese video. That is literally a $20 desk lamp, black construction paper wrapped and taped it around it into a cone so that I could create a spotlight on just my face. And I turned on the light in the background to add more depth to make the shot feel more three-dimensional. And then I used a $30 fog machine from Party City to give it some more atmosphere to make it dramatic. As long as you study basic principles of lighting, you can use anything you have. I promise you, you can use any cheap light you can have. If you are knowledgeable in basic lighting, just the fundamentals, it'll go a long way compared to if you buy some $500 tungsten lights and don't know what the hell you're doing. Like I said, I'm bouncing some cheap ass LED lights off of my ceiling to give a nice soft glow on me. Other times I've used these in a very harsh way. I've used this in a straight direct butterfly lighting and it's kind of like washes me out and it's like really harsh on me. You can see that everything looks soft. You see my skin, the background shadows, you see everything, you see more detail because I've used them in a different way. You have to experiment with what you have. You can't just think that just because you buy something like this that it's gonna look good. Look at the difference between this video and this video. Okay, so let's move on to audio. This right here. You hear this, right? This is just a raw phone right here. And it just paused because I plugged this in, which can be used as a lav mic. You can tape it underneath you, or if it's a talking video, to be honest, this is fine. This is distracting, right? <laughs> so let's just tuck this in. Right? If I had this on the whole video, you wouldn't even notice. It wouldn't have been a big deal. You would have just thought, oh, he got his Apple headphones in, and this is recording my, my mic. Now, when you mix an audio, most of the time, you want the mids. Think about it. This is meant for phone conversation. So this is meant to sound clear. Anything that you record out of this, it'll be understandable. This is most certainly gonna sound better than that. This is most certainly gonna sound better than that. And this is a $3,600 camera. Just because it's expensive doesn't mean that it's gonna have the greatest audio in the world. It has pretty good audio, but it's far. It doesn't matter how good you, look it. Now let's put this camera, let's, let's put this mic in the living room. At this point, I don't, even, I don't even think you can hear me at this point. It's about how you use your equipment. As far as the camera, why do you need a new camera? You probably got a smartphone. These things shoot in 4K nowadays. Even if you don't have a smartphone, look what I was shooting on before. Look at this old video. If I'm on my way to school and I'm feeling my lips is feeling kind of chapped, it's dry. You know, I get to school for my education, you feel me? I don't go to be bagging bitches. But at the same time, niggas can't really focus when your lips is wild chapped and ashy and shit. I'm not trying to cause no distractions to nobody else. Now, would you rather watch this video with subpar resolution, but great audio, or would you rather watch this great video that I shot on my C100 that has crappy, distorted, clipping audio with a bunch of reverb because we were in a hallway. Yo, bro, I'm filling out this application for this job and they're asking me for my three best qualities. Can you help me out a bit? What is the context? If there's dialogue, the dialogue is the most important thing. What's so bad about shooting on your phone? 
People make Snapchat videos, Instagram videos, and blow up off of skits they made off of their phone. Oh, but you think that's not that's not good enough. You want it to be professional. What is professional besides some weird elitist idea of what content should look like. Making videos online is different than TV. The difference about it online is that since everyone can do it, it's all about the authenticity and how much people can relate to you and how connected people feel to you. People don't come online to watch commercial level content. And if your stuff winds up looking commercial level, eventually, that's great. But don't sweat it, don't stress it. People are here for your message. Audio is everything. If you really wanna spend your money, let's say you got $1,000 to spend right now. What do you spend $1,000 on? If you have a phone, don't waste any money on a camera. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna spend about a third of that on your lighting, right? Getting some good ass lights. Spending a third of that on a great mic. The other third goes to miscellaneous things that you're gonna need for audio, like an interface, like stands for your lights, diffusers. If you have any kind of video that has dialogue in it, including talking videos like this one, the audio is the most crucial thing because this camera could cut off right now. And all I would have to do is be like a lot of these people online that make videos and they just put a picture or they slideshow it. Or you could just edit in some pictures of what you're referring to. Because for a video like this, my face isn't what matters. It's the message, it's what I'm saying. This thing could be black and you would still learn something. But if I'm here talking in front of a camera with my whack little face and the audio cuts off, I'm done. This is why I got three forms of audio. I got the camera audio. I have my lav mic and I have my backup on my phone because I've had times where I've shot entire videos and I lost the audio. The audio somehow wasn't recording or something died or whatever it may be or the audio clip, something distorted, anything. And it was unusable. A video like this without audio is nothing. Don't underestimate your audio, please. If you really do want your audio to sound clean and you want to take it to the next level, invest your time in some basic audio engineering. Learn how to mix and compress some vocals. This is a quick synopsis. I'm gonna go into depth about all these little topics about getting clean vocals. I'm gonna go more into detail about color grading. So anything you shoot on your phone, you'll be able to get better color out of it to get a better image in general. But you don't have to run to buy all these different pieces of gear. You can't buy quality. Money and resources can enhance your skill, but you cannot just buy skill. That's something you have to do. You have to do the work. Because if you don't know what you're doing and you spend all this money, it's going to be trash anyway. It don't matter how much money you spend. You have to study. You have to study your craft. You have to study your audience. You got to study your haters. You got to study your fans. You got to take criticism from everybody. But in order to study, you have to have a response. To have a response, you have to put out bodies of work. You know, how can you call yourself an artist if you're not creating? if you're not putting stuff out. Because everybody likes to talk about quality over quantity, but I think Difa Darius has a great idea in mind when he says that when you're building your skills and you're starting out, it's quantity over quality. You need to get as much practice in as you possibly can. If you're new to filmmaking, you're in the skill builder phase. If you wanna make something with quality, you've gotta first have the skills, right? We gotta build those skills up. Don't be so scared to suck. Everybody sucks. What's so wrong with the suck? suck? I don't understand, what's the big deal? Sucking is great. You just starting out. You look at my work from five, six years ago versus how my work looks now. And sometimes I watch my old videos and I cringe. I'm not even gonna hold you. You should cringe when you go back to your old work. That's part of the process. You need to do things that humble you. You can't be so arrogant to think that everything you put out is gonna be a masterpiece. Please, your work is gonna be trash, garbage, and it's gonna be garbage for a long time. But you know what? is your garbage and you started. You did something a lot of people can't even do. Start. So do it. Get it together. Come on. Go make that video on your phone. It doesn't matter how much. I could give you 5000 I could give you $50,000 right now to make a movie. But you have to get up and do it. I'm not going to do it for you. The money's not going to do it for you. That money is a tool. These resources, everything, all of these things are tools. If you don't develop the skills, if you don't develop your mind right, you can't even use these tools. You can't even appreciate the tools that you have. Oh yeah, I kind of completely skipped over the editing thing. This is like my first film tutorial. And so this probably is gonna suck. But listen, I gotta practice what I preach. I have to suck. You feel me? Cause real men suck. 
but editing is simple. You don't need Premiere Pro, you don't need After Effects, you don't need all this crazy stuff. There's so many free editors nowadays. You have iMovie on your phone. If you do have a decent laptop with eight gigabytes of RAM and at least an i5 processor, then there's DaVinci Resolve. Come on, it's free. I use Sony Vegas right now because that's what I'm used to. In the description, I'll leave a link to basically the crash course that I watched when I was 11 years old and I used to play a lot of video games and there was this gamer called Like Butter and he has basically a 50 minute crash course on how to edit and it was like the most thorough thing I ever watched. You know, and a lot of these things, like I said, are tools. This is a $50 lav mic. It works just fine with this and I'm gonna use it, simple. And if I didn't have this, to be honest with you, once this completely breaks, I'm gonna continue using my phone. It gets the job done. I'm not recording a feature film for Christ's sakes. I'm making YouTube videos. And the high quality comes from me. The high quality comes from me making better scripts, editing better, telling the story better, and actually doing the damn art and getting my skills up there. It doesn't come from me upgrading my mic every other month. It doesn't come from me buying a new camera every year. So like I said, stop shooting yourself in the foot. Get out there. Make your damn videos for Christ's sakes. In the comments down below, let me know what you would like more detail on that I discussed in this video. I definitely want to make something on three point lighting because um, that's a very basic technique that everybody should know. Um, everybody. And if you're making any type of video content, everybody should know how to set up three point lighting. Thank you for my patrons for supporting me. I'll see you guys in a private live stream exclusive to patrons only every second Sunday of the month where you guys can ask me anything. Eastside, Harlem Reppin'.